friends and welcome back to 155 books. If you're new here my name is Shannon and today I'm going to be sharing with you four tips that you can implement into your life to make you a happier you in 2022. So this year rather than setting myself a list of resolutions or goals or anything like that to hit in 2022 just because the last two years have been very out of the ordinary I didn't really want to set myself up for something that might be quite difficult so instead I decided to implement four things that I know make me happier um, and to stick to those in 2022 just to live a more happier and fulfilled life uh, because you know we all need a little bit of that in our lives at the moment. So let's just get straight into the tips so that you can live a happier and healthier life in 2022. Number one, do more of what energizes you, not just what you love. So I'm definitely a big believer in energy and good energy versus bad energy um, and how certain activities and things that I do, I can feel myself being more energized um, and fulfilled. Um, but these things aren't always the things I explicitly love doing. For instance, I love binge watching um, my favorite TV shows on Netflix, but that doesn't necessarily energize me. Um, I love reading, but again, that's something that sometimes makes me feel really sleepy. So I wouldn't always classify it as something that energizes me. So make a list of the things that energize you. For me, these would be dancing, which is something I definitely don't do a lot of anymore. Um, this is why I used to love going out, uh, like clubbing. It wasn't for the drinking or the socializing. I mean, they were like, enjoyable I guess too but I mainly did it for the dancing because I love dancing and I realized that you know I don't have to go out out to dance I can put on my favorite dancey playlist and dance at home so I definitely want to do more at home dancing in 2022. Other things that energize me include yoga, meditation, getting out into nature and good company. This is a bit of an iffy one for me I have to be in a very specific mood um, uh, for very specific people. So I wouldn't say socializing energizes me, I would say good company energizes me. Um, so, you know, like I said, it's fine tuning that. So make a list of what energizes you and try to do more of that in this year. So tip number two is to do less of what de-energizes you. For me, the things that de-energize me are shopping centers. I detest shopping centers and a lot more recently. Um, I don't remember noticing it as much before but more recently especially over Christmas whenever I've been shopping and in a shopping center I get really anxious my heart starts pumping and I just want to leave and by the end I just feel exhausted so I'm going to try to not be in as many shopping centers in 2022. Again other things for me include social media so I have removed Twitter from my phone and I am determined to keep it off of my phone through for the entirety of 2022 because it's one of those sites that definitely de-energizes me. The news is another one I've stopped reading the news as often as I did before. I like to check in every now and again but I do try to limit myself with the news and like I said previously certain social interactions also de-energize me um, but because life isn't always peachy and you are going to have to do some of the things that do de-energize you obviously because that's just the way life is, um, I try to sort of balance it out so if I know I'm gonna have a day where I'm gonna have to socialize with people that I maybe don't want to or I've got a big social interaction happening that is going to de-energize me or for instance if I know I have to go into a shopping center in the morning or in the evening I will try to make time to meditate do some yoga or alongside going to the shopping center maybe go to a nearby park as well so I get some of that nature so it's all about finding that balance. Number three practice gratitude and remind yourself of how far you've come. One thing I really did learn in 2021 was to be grateful of what I did have and that made my situation and my life and how I was feeling so much better. Um, so that is definitely something I want to carry on in 2022. Although sometimes I do find myself when things are going quite well for me, uh, like mentally, physically, in life, just all of those things. I seem to practice gratitude less, which is a bit strange. So this one, for me, I'm trying to make it a sort of 
kind of daily, weekly, monthly practice. If you're like me and you struggle with practicing gratitude, then I'd definitely recommend trying out some journal prompts. So what I normally do is just like Google gratitude journal prompts and like a list of loads of different questions will come up. And they're always like really fun to do if you've got a spare five minutes. Um, so that is something, like I said, I'm trying to do more of in 2022. As well as practicing gratitude, you can also remind yourself of how far you've come. Even if it's a teeny little bit of progress that you make, you should like acknowledge that and say to yourself, look, if I manage to do this, then I can do this. And that's definitely something that helped me in 2021. Um, I've been trying to tell myself, look, if I've come this far already, then I can definitely go to where I want to be. Um, and it's just, you know, changing your mindset about that. And one thing that always makes me sort of like giggle a little bit is that I'm only 26 and I have achieved quite a lot already, but I've also forgotten a lot of that. So every now and again, I do like to do a little journal prompt where I just write down all of the achievements I've made so far in my life and that already makes me feel better. Tip number four is to live for the now. This is another one that I find really difficult to do myself, hence why I've set it as a sort of goal for 2022. Um, but it is one that when I do try and live in the now, it does make my perspective a lot different and happier and healthier and all of those things. So it's just trying to remind yourself to be present in each and every moment and that is a lot easier said than done. However, towards the end of last year I found a really really helpful activity that made me feel more present and grounded and one that I definitely wanted to share with you guys um, because like I said it helped a lot with living in the now. So the tip I found to get me out of my head and in the present moment is to sort of stop thinking what you see and see what you see. So I first found this tip in the autumn time, which I think was the perfect time to sort of get used to using it. I was going on more walks because I love the trees and things in autumn because there's so many different colors. But I found myself doing this thing where I would look at a really pretty tree and just think, oh, that's a pretty tree, and then just carry on walking um, and not actually take in what made the tree pretty. So with this tip, what I told myself to do was rather than thinking what I see, i.e. it's a pretty tree, I made myself really look at the details of the tree and what made it up to be pretty in my description. So the colours, the textures, the way it moved in the wind, because day in, day out, because we move so quickly, we miss all of these really beautiful details in life. And that is because our mind is so used to just thinking what we see and not actually taking what we see in properly. So I'm gonna try and like use that mindset um, more in 2022 and pick out, you know, really look in detail at the things that I'm thinking and feeling rather than letting my mind just put an easy description on it and just moving on. Because like I say, you just miss so much in the present moment by doing that. So those are the four things I want to try and implement into my life or carry on implementing in my life in 2022 to try and bring that little bit of joy and happiness back into my life. Please let me know if you found these tips useful and if you try to implement them into your life, please let me know how you get on either in the comments or on my social media, which will be linked in the description box. Thank you guys so, so much for watching as always. And please remember to subscribe for weekly videos so you don't miss out. And I'll see you soon in my next one. Bye.